Okay, let's talk about the Canon R7. I've made some claims that the image out of the R7 rivals the C70, and I really love everything about the C70, but the R7 just really blows me away. The, just how simple overall it is, is really the main factor for me and the portability and the ease of use. But uh, the fact that it has C-Log3 uh, really makes it a contender for the C70. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing some tests, uh, comparing these two cameras, and to make it fair, I'm gonna use the same lens on both and the exact same settings on both of them as well. So shooting 4K, um, at 24 frames or 30 frames a second in C-Log3. And then I'll show you guys the footage to see if you can tell the difference between a $7,000 camera and a $2,000 camera. But before we get started here, let's begin with the sensor differences. They are completely different sensors. The C70 is a true Super 35 dual gain output, nine megapixel sensor, which basically means it takes two different readouts of the same image and then combines them into a single image. Hopefully we'll see the DGO sensor strength in the low light comparison shots. And then uh, on the other hand, the R7 has a 32 megapixel APS-C size sensor. So it's a three by two aspect ratio instead of a Super 35. And that actually gives us the ability to oversample from 7K, which is pretty neat actually. I only mention these differences up front so that you can pay attention to the details in each of the sensors when comparing the footage. Okay, so let's get started with the tests. Okay, so the R7 here has absolutely insane autofocus capabilities and as it should because it's a wildlife or it's like pitched as like a wildlife photo camera. So the AF on that thing is insane, but just literally last week, the C70 got a autofocus update via firmware. So it's better face tracking, better eye tracking, and it's always had pretty good um, autofocus performance, but I'm gonna see just with some simple tests uh, if anything's different and how they stack up. Let's get to it. One more thing I forgot actually is I'm gonna be using the Canon 16 to 35 for this specific test. Okay, so let's test out this new firmware. It looks to be tracking pretty good. Oh yeah, pretty snappy in comparison to kind of what I remember. To be fair, this is a really simple test, but it's doing like a really good job, like following the face. Yeah, it's really snappy, wow. All right, let's uh, throw the R7 on. Okay, I have pretty similar settings now on the R7, and uh, you can see the eye tracking on this thing is just really wild. So, and it's so sticky as well. Like Canon, I just think Canon has really nailed it. Yeah, look, it's immediately snappy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, like, I really feel like the competition and autofocus now between both of these cameras are are really slim, if anything, at best. Uh, like, yeah, good job, Canon. Absolutely killed it. <laughs> also, like, look at Winston right now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> look at this guy, he's just vibing right now. All right, so this next test is a little unconventional, but we got the C70 rigged out on a RS3 gimbal and we're gonna put it head to head with the R7 with just its in-body stabilization. It has pretty crazy stabilization for just an entry level camera and the C70 only has digital IS. So I wanna put the two to the test together and see how they stack up and which one is better and see if you can tell the difference between the two. So let's get to the test. Okay, so if you guessed that camera A was the C70 and camera B was the R7, you would be right. 
But let's run this test back with the R7's IBIS and digital image stabilization turned to the max settings. Do you have anything to say? Okay, so we've reached the part of the video that I'm most excited for, and it's comparing the footage. I spent the last few days shooting the same setups on both cameras with the same lenses, and then I tried to color correct them pretty much exactly the same. Uh, not trying to push the footage too hard, not trying to match them too hard. I really think you'll be able to see the differences maybe in the low light and the differences of the sensors. So. Uh, let's just play the footage and see if you can guess which is which, and I'll reveal it at the end. So, let's get to it. Wow, so that was pretty insane for me to watch back and look at all those comparisons. The R7, speaking purely about the image, is definitely uh, the better buy. Uh, but when you add in internal ND, XLRs, all of that, the C70 is by far way more of a workhorse of a camera. And uh, it, it's just mind blowing to me that that's now like the entry level of, of the market that we have now. Absolutely mind blowing. Um, I hope that you're feeling the same way as well, uh, just as flabbergasted as, as I am. Um, yeah, wow. I don't know what else to say. I <laughs> So I'm happy that I did it. I'm happy that you watched it. And uh, yeah, thanks for making it this far. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.